searching for a new home in the Raleigh area, but every home you're finding has literally no yard space. You want a home with a little more privacy from your neighbors, where the sides of your home aren't literally touching those of your neighbors? Well, stay tuned because I'm about to show you guys where you can find some affordable new homes that will give you a little more space from your neighbors with some decent yard size. Hi guys, I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh. Today we're south of downtown Raleigh here in the town of Smithfield in Johnston County. We're about to visit several communities all located within a 30 to 40 minute drive just south of downtown Raleigh where you're going to find homes with quite a bit more lot space. Most of these homes are going to measure anywhere between one half acre all the way up to well over one acre in size. With this much acreage, you're typically gonna have some really nice privacy from your neighbors. You're also gonna have the ability to do some really nice things for your home, like install a swimming pool. Quite often, these communities will allow you to have a little bit more flexibility with your home due to the fact that they're either gonna have a less stringent HOA or actually many times they may not even have an HOA. Okay guys, let's get going and check out our first community. Okay, I'm here at Homestead Farm. This community is situated about two miles from the I-40 NC-210 interchange here in Four Oaks. From here, we're about 27 minutes from downtown Raleigh and we're probably around 40 to 42 minutes from Raleigh Durham Airport. This is a pretty convenient location. We're only about 15 minutes from major shopping at the nearby White Oak Crossing Shopping Center. Homes here are gonna range from around 2,000 square feet up to over about 3,000 square feet. They're priced between 400 and the low 500s. Lot sizes out here are gonna start around a half acre in size, so you're gonna have plenty of room to spread out here. The builder here is planning on building a nice walking trail. There's a four and a half acre pond bordering a park area along with a community swimming pool and playground. Let's go check it out. As you can see, this neighborhood has a fantastic surrounding. You're pretty much surrounded by open farmland and lots of trees. I describe this area as having a rural feel, but definitely don't associate the word rural with inconvenient. Each of these communities in this video are all within one to two miles of each other and all are super convenient to Interstate I-40, which will get you to nearby shopping and dining within, say, seven to 10 minutes or so. Okay, we're here in Lowry Meadows, which is just a couple minutes off of Interstate I-40. We're less than 30 minutes from downtown Raleigh, and we're about 40 to 45 minutes from Raleigh-Durham Airport. As you'll be able to see in just a couple of minutes, we're in a really rural area, but you can be at the Carolina Premium Outlet Mall within about 25 to 30 minutes from here. Over there, you're gonna find tons of shopping. There's a lot of retail and dining, different restaurants and so forth. Within this community, homes are gonna range in size between 2,500 square feet up to over 3,000 square feet. They're gonna be priced within the mid 300s up to about the mid 400,000 range. Located just three minutes south of the Homestead Farm community is Lowry Meadows. From this area, you're only about a two to three minute drive from the closest I-40 interchange where you'll find a grocery store along with retail and dining options. You're also only about five minutes south of West Johnston High School. Another great benefit of this location is the fact that you'll have very low taxes. Based on current rates, on a home valued at $350,000, your yearly county taxes would be $29.40 per year, and there are no city taxes in this location. If you're researching this area, keep in mind you're going to see addresses with multiple different city names, some with Benson addresses, some with Four Oaks, some with McGee's Crossroads. If you happen to be looking at this area on Google Maps, it's going to be referred to as McGee's Crossroads. That'll make it simple. Okay, I'm here at the brand new home community of Beverly Place. This is located literally five minutes or so from the North Carolina 210 Interstate I-40 interchange. From here, you can be in downtown Raleigh in about, I'd say 30 minutes or so. Raleigh Durham Airport, probably about 40, 45 minutes. Lot sizes here are typically gonna be a minimum of about a half acre in size. Homes out here are typically gonna be around between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet in size. Hey guys, as of today, we're in mid-June 2021. There are two brand new homes available right now in the community. If you want more information, contact me as soon as possible. This area is pretty rural out here. I mean, you've got tons of open space. One of the really cool things I like about this community is you're literally right down the street from the Reedy Creek Golf Club, which is an awesome layout if you're into golf. 
There are currently two custom builders constructing homes within the Beverly Place community. The first being Smith Douglas Homes and the second being Davidson Homes. Plans call for a community swimming pool, clubhouse, and a children's playground. I really like this neighborhood quite a bit due to the fact there are tons of gorgeous trees located throughout the area and located towards the center of the community is an awesome community pond. If you're not into golf at the nearby Reedy Creek Golf Course, there are several other nearby recreational options, including the Tucker Lake Recreational Park and the Benson Parks and Recreation Facility. Both are within a 7 to 10 minute drive of the community. Okay, I'm over in the Jewel Acres community. This community is going to consist of around 30 homes total. So if you'd like to be in a more somewhat intimate community with larger lot sizes, then this might be a good fit for you guys. Homes here are gonna range between 1,700 square feet all the way up to over 3,300 square feet, with most of these homes ranging from three bedroom, two and a half bath plans with two car garages, all the way up to five bedroom, three and a half bath plans. Homes here are typically gonna range from the mid 300s all the way up to the mid 400s. From this community, you're only about, I'd say 30 minutes from downtown Raleigh and you're less than 45 minutes from Raleigh-Durham Airport. Currently under construction in the Jewel Acres community is the first of what will eventually become 30 Craftsman homes. One really great benefit of this neighborhood is the fact that with more land, you're going to find a lot more ranch options, which are almost impossible to find now in the Raleigh market due to the fact there is very limited land availability. Keep in mind that most of the communities I'm covering in this video will have county municipal water, but most homes are going to have its own private septic systems on site. Hey guys, I'm out at Barnes Landing. This is one of the newest communities here in Johnston County. Your typical home site here is going to range from a minimum of half an acre all the way up to over one acre in size. We're located right off of Highway 210. We're just a few minutes off of I-40. We're 30 minutes from downtown Raleigh and we're probably about 40 minutes from RDU. Home prices out here are going to start around the 270s and they're going to allow for a third car garage option here. The ranch models, their two-story plans, their first floor owner suites. Plans out here are going to vary from about 1,800 square feet to over 2,500 square feet feet with three or four bedrooms you can personalize your upgrades and your selections it's very rural out here but you, like i say you're only just a few minutes away from i-40 the traffic's not really bad out here very wide open spaces there's really nice ponds and lakes around here you just get a real good you know rural isolated feel but again you're not like out in the middle of nowhere guys do me a quick favor and let me know what you think about these communities would you be willing to drive a little farther out to get a much bigger yard or does acreage really matter to you leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think and whatever you do get mike and get moved